Um, okay, so we've come back here. We can uh, get some more blood vials. It's always very handy to have as many blood vials as you can carry. Once you... Uh, oh, shit. Once you um, uh, get, to, get somewhere where you're having trouble and you need to keep trying. Um, every time you die, <clears throat> you replenish your uh, your slots of uh, blood vials and uh, quick silver bullets. So always been able to replenish that it comes in very handy. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, if you don't find them on corpses, you can buy them with uh, blood echoes in the dream, in the hunter's dream. Um, but no, that's wasting, wasting blood echoes. I mean, we could be leveling up. So now we're going to come from this side. This is the, like the normal way to do it. Uh, they're all going to be there, standing around. Oh, why is this thing not coming down? We might have to take some of these guys out. If we can. Okay, there it goes. Oh, sugar. <laughs> okay. Um, let's get healing. Sure, our second one. Oh, uh, but yeah, like normally, it's like sometimes, like the first time I went up here, um, it got lit pretty sooner than that, so I was able to just move to the side and it took them all out. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's that area that you meant to do it. It's one of them anyway. But yeah, it's a little bit easier just dealing with the boar and then coming around to do these guys the other way. Um, okay, we didn't get that visceral for uh, I didn't get that either. I'm getting sloppy. here again. God, I hate these guys. <clears throat> oh, small blood vials. <clears throat> Let's heal up, see if we can... It's stacked again. Nice. Uh, so now we have the, uh, the first boss. the gas coin <clears throat> um, okay for this guy I haven't really got like a strategy apart from just trying to uh, use your uh, bullets to uh, get a visceral Oh, it's 
seems to me. It's enough to make a man sick. <laughs> oh, but yeah, just don't try and do that, because, uh... Come on, man. This guy's big weapon out. And you can't really stagger this guy either, so I might actually die here. <laughs> Just watch out because he's got a lot of range with this. <clears throat> All right, now that's where we need to go around. Do some viscerals. <clears throat> Odin tomb key. Uh, okay, I think we killed him a bit too quick. Uh, usually when he gets, when he, when it's past half health, when it's almost dead, he transforms into a beast. Um, but I guess we killed him a bit too quick with the viscerals. Uh, so yeah, try and get those, uh, those parries, try and get those viscerals. If you do it as soon as he starts to attack, you should be able to stagger him. Um, you can see there when he's kind of like stunned, you can go behind the back and get a charge attack. But again, it's, uh, this fight's a little bit RNG, so it's not... It can be a little bit hard sometimes, but yeah, if you're in trouble, just back away and heal. And then try and just uh, dodge around to his sides or around the back to get some uh, slashes in. If you're not comfortable with those uh, parries. But I'd recommend just trying to uh, fire some shots off and get some viscerals in. Um, and also the music box. Um, I'm not sure if it's after his, like, if it works before he's transformed or after he's transformed. But if you play the music box, it staggers him for a bit. I think it's when he transforms into a beast. Okay, let's light this. Um, but yeah, that was the, the first real boss of the game. Uh, the Cleric Beast is an optional boss. Do not need to kill him. Just like a lot of stuff in this game, there are many, uh, many of these places are optional. Um, but we're going to be doing them all in this playthrough. Is the pile of corpses he was hacking up? Probably. It's got he went crazy. Um was it these? These look a bit more mutilated. Might have been those. Uh so right up here, that was Father Gascoin. It was mentioned inscribed on the inside of the music note on a uh, music box on a scroll of paper. And if we go down here, search this body, we find the red jeweled brooch. It was, that was taught to us by the little girl, it was owned by her mother. Um, so there are two things we can do with this. Um, a woman's bright red brooch engraved with the name Viola. Perhaps the jewel is a gift from a hunter. Used to change into a droplet blood gem that fortifies any weapon. With the proper workshop tool, various weapons can be fortified. Um, so we can uh, use it, or we can give it to the little girl. I'm going to use this. So we get a blood red gem. Uh, and it's always useful because with that, we are able to... Um, increase our weapon, so physical attack up plus 2.7% and boost rally potential plus 1.8%. Uh, uh, so it's an upgrade for our weapon. But yeah. So we just killed the little, well, we just killed the little girl's dad. And uh, her mother was already dead. So yeah, a little tragic, um, but it gets even worse later on. <laughs> um, okay, then we go up this ladder. <laughs> oh, 
And we've got the Blood Gem Workshop tool. This will allow us to etch these ruins into our weapons. All these gems into our weapons. And now we have reached Cathedral Ward. And who's that over there? Okay, let's uh, light the light the lamp so we can head back. Um, let's just return right now before I do anything else. I've got seven insight. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm just gonna... Welcome, what is it? Uh, spend these echoes because, uh, like... 6,000, we can get a level or two. Oh shit, you had eyes. Let's get my white tally. Farewell, good hunter. And then we're also going to uh, uh, Blood Gem Fortification. Uh, fortify a weapon using Blood Gems. Blood Gems imbue weapons with special characteristics. Uh, so we've got our Saw Cleaver. So the jewel that we cracked open, the brooch, gave us a, uh, a red Blood Gem. We can put this in our weapon. Uh, this one's a, a, a special one, so it goes in any slot. Uh, so we can just stick it in here to increase our, our damage output. Let's, uh, let's repair this weapon as well. Before we head back out. <clears throat> uh, okay, nice. Okay, this is our storage. So we can place items in there. There's a lot of uh, different slots on there. Where we can switch between our different storages with the top bumper buttons. But yeah, any any uh, surplus heals or uh, quick silver bullets that you acquire go into automatically go into storage. Um, and do we get anything else from here? I might have had something new. Um, I don't think we did. Okay. <sighs> but yeah, we've now got seven insight. Okay, so this pool is here from the start. Uh, buy with insight. Make trades with messengers using insight. Uh, so yeah, so we can buy stuff with our insight. A small resident bell. Ring the bell to help hunters in other worlds. So if we get this, I might just... Should we get this now? Um, no, if we get that, we can uh, we can join other people's games. We can help them. And we can buy Gascoigne's gear. Nice. <clears throat> um, okay, so I mean, now's a good time to, to pause it, to leave it, so I'm gonna cut this video here. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, guys, uh, listen, thank you very much for watching this video. Um, let's not kill the doll. I slipped. Uh, so if you liked any of these uh, any of this content then please click that like and subscribe button 
don't forget to ring that notification bell as well. Um, and if you've got any uh, comments or if you've got any comments, if you've got any suggestions uh, for these videos in the future, please leave a comment down below. Um, am I talking too much? Am I getting anything wrong? Yeah, everything helps to improve the quality of these videos. Uh, but anyway, guys, anyway, guys, that's it from me. Take care, and hopefully see you soon. See you. Up.